Aulus Vitellius Germanicus, also known as Aulus Vitellius Germanicus Augustus, was a Roman emperor who ruled for eight months from April 16 to December 22, 69. He was proclaimed emperor following the quick succession of Galba and Otho in a year of civil war known as the Year of the Four Emperors. Vitellius was the first to add the honorific Germanicus to his name after his coronation, as the name Caesar had been discredited by the actions of Nero. His claim to the throne was soon contested by legions in the eastern provinces, who declared their commander Vespasian as emperor. This led to a war, in which Vitellius suffered a crushing defeat at the Second Battle of Bedriacum in northern Italy. Realizing he was losing support, he prepared to abdicate in favor of Vespasian, but was executed by Vespasian's troops in Rome on December 22, 69. The origins of the Vitellii family are disputed, but his grandfather, Publius Vitellius, served as procurator under Augustus. His uncle, also named Publius Vitellius, was a commander under Germanicus. His father, Lucius Vitellius, was the governor of Syria and consul under Claudius in 34 and played an important role at his court. According to his biographers, Vitellius grew up at the court of Tiberius, which had a bad reputation, and accompanied the emperor to Capria where he acquired the nickname Spintria meaning anal artist, implying that he engaged in passive anal intercourse, which was a major offence for a noble Roman. Despite this, Aulus Vitellius was appointed consul under Emperor Claudius in 48. According to the historian Tacitus, he later became known as one of the greatest sycophants among the senators under Emperor Nero. After his defeat by Vespasian, a period of political stability lasting more than a century followed. After Nero's reign, his successor Galba surprised everyone by appointing Vitellius as the commander of Germania Inferior in the fall of 68. Galba defended this decision by saying that there was no one more to be feared than someone who only thinks about food, and that Aulus Vitellius could satisfy his insatiable appetite in the province. However, when Vitellius arrived to take up his post, he didn't have enough money to pay for his travel expenses, he was forced to rent an apartment for his wife and children and to rent out his own home. He pawned a valuable pearl from his mother's earring and resorted to making false accusations to keep his creditors at bay. When Vitellius arrived at the legions, he won the loyalty of the troops by giving in to every desire and undoing punishments. After a month, he was summoned from his bed by the troops and greeted as the new princeps. After also winning the loyalty of the troops in Germania Superior and hearing of the murder of Galba, he marched against Otho, who had declared himself princeps. Following the first battle of Bedriacum and the suicide of Otho on April 16, 69, Vitellius dissolved all the units of the Praetorian Guard, which had helped Otho to power, and punished 120 Praetorians who had requested a reward for killing Galba. His, short, reign was characterized by a complete disregard for laws and customs. He entered the city like a triumphant general, leading his troops with their aquilae and drawn swords, appointed himself Pontifex Maximus on an inauspicious day of defeat against the Gauls in the Battle of the Allia, held elections for the next ten years, and held a funeral service for Nero in the Field of Mars, calling on a flute player to play something from the Master's Book. This is the story of Vitellius, a Roman emperor known for his love of luxury and cruelty. He was known for attending three to four banquets a day, using enemas to make sure he could eat more, and for killing various people, including prominent men, old friends, former creditors, and even ordinary citizens who had spoken ill of the blue faction of the circus. In the eighth month of his reign, the legions of Moesia, Pannonia, Judea, and Syria rebelled against him and chose Vespasian, a general in Judea, as their leader. After suffering a crushing defeat in the Second Battle of Bedriacum, Vitellius tried to resign as emperor on the Forum and sent a delegation led by Flavius Sabinus, the city prefect of Rome and the brother of Vespasian, including the Vestal Virgins. He demanded a safe passage and 100 million sesterces, but his offer was rejected. He accused Flavius Sabinus of treason, and when Sabinus sought refuge on the Capitoline Hill, Vitellius ordered it to be stormed, resulting in the burning of the temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus. After Vespasian's troops occupied Rome, Vitellius hid in the porter's lodge, but he was eventually captured. He was dragged to the forum with his hands tied behind his back and a noose around his neck, 
where the people insulted him and pelted him with filth and rotten fruits while he begged for his life. He was tortured for a long time and ultimately murdered by Antonius Primus, along with his brother and son. His body was thrown down the Gemonian stairs and dragged with a hook into the Tiber. Vitellius was 54 years old. Thanks for watching this video. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel.